Hey folks, this is Weatherman Sam, man of the big green hat. I'm about to hike the lake trail here at Lake Winfield Scott um, Recreation Area, part of the Chattahoochee National Forest in North Georgia. It's about a mile in, in length, and there's a number of wildflowers in bloom and some great views on the mountains around. Let's go see what we can find. Starting from the trailhead that's inside the campground, there's another trailhead that's the Dave area with a, a boat launch. Some rhododendrons in bloom here over in the woods. I had planned to kayak the lake but I can hear thunder in the distance so I figured the safer bet is just to kind of hold off and spoil the lake on on foot for now it's a great little fishing spot here a number of wildflowers in this little area this is heel all or self heel sitting right next to some some red clover and just to the side a lot of them have been eaten or not yet ripe there's some blackberries here's maybe a few but they're so tiny tasty beautiful hemlocks in this forest are dying and this is why it's very important not to transport firewood and to always clean your gear. I don't know if you can see the little white specks along the branch here. That is the woolly adelgid. And it is absolutely decimating the hemlocks and the Smoky Mountains and even here in North Georgia. And you can bet that before I go back to Sipsy or maybe even I get to a spot where I can uh, find a car wash and get out away from this area. I will be doing so just to make sure I don't carry any into some of the disjunct populations in Alabama that have yet to be affected by this. It's very, very important. There's a little bird just singing its heart out. Walk down to the edge here. This was a massive hemlock. It's now a fish habitat. Check out these mountains. Well, that's a quick little walk to the day use area. It's actually a little bit of a drive if people are trying to get from the day use area over to the campground. It's several miles on down. Well, it sure feels that way. Well, the road is windy as it is. But just in case you're curious of the amenities here, there is one pit toilet. There's no running water. And there's no one uh, staffed here at this location. Well, I was studying the map. Well, I was studying the map, and this area is actually 
a trailhead or a parking spot for the fishing pier. Handicap accessible. The day use area is part of the campground itself. To a large degree is an honor system. We'll walk down to this little platform. Take a look out at the mountains. On the other side of um, State Highway 180 over here, there's a little rock dam and a waterfall. And we'll go pick that up. And then catch the, the trail on the other side of the lake. This is the larger pier. I'll be honest, I don't advise doing what I just did. There are no shoulders on this road, and there's a steep cur curb coming down behind me. At least this way I can see oncoming traffic. There was a small pull off here for wiser decisions. I'm wondering now if there actually is a trail on that side of the lake that connects up to the road. There's some fish here. This area is known for its trout fishing, but I don't know enough about fish to tell you what kind of fish these are. There, it finally comes back into focus. On the other side of the road, next to the recreation sign, there appears to be some kind of little footpath here along the edge of the lake. This gets pretty weedy. I didn't feel comfortable going through the weeds on that side. So I'm going to backtrack a bit and try to go at it the other way. Okay, we're back to kind of where that initial trailhead was and I shot this little video I wanted to show the massive amounts of bee bomb growing in this area they just seem to love this spot and it appears we have another bit of a road walk Okay, so if you cross a little bridge back there and come down this boat where this boat launch is, the trail picks back up here. It's kind of a disjointed trail. Realistically, this video I think is more of an exploration of the recreation area than an actual trail guide. There's a lot of wildflowers blooming through here woodland flocks, black eyed Susans. And a little pink thing back there I'm unsure of. I'll notate it in the video when I figure it out. <laughs> so here's the beach area.
It's not a very large lake. But it's enough to swim in and fish and paddle around some. That's about all you need on a hot summer day.